right. Uh, Alex, I'm also counting on you to take questions or stop me anytime. I also cannot see team. Yep. Today, uh, I will be showing the current state of semantic memory integration into Copilot Chat. For those who, I, I'm not sure how much you have heard about semantic memory, but for those who haven't heard of semantic memory, semantic memory is a new project from the semantic kernel team to enhance the data-driven features or experience in applications built with uh, SK, including, so the semantic memory projects like the pipeline that you can use to generate memory, semantic memory from basically any files, right? The, the text documents, um, PDF images or emails or um, videos, anything. And then it takes care of indexing, querying, um, generating embeddings and then storing embeddings into databases. And then when you query the memory, it includes citations, data sources of, you know, where based on the question and query that you provided, which sources matches the, uh, well, what sources match the uh, best match your your query. And uh, yeah, I will paste this link into the chat later. So I encourage everyone to take a look at this project. So there are two kind of um, things I want to talk about in the semantic memory. Uh, package or service. The first thing is the concept of a pipeline. Uh, you can define your own pipeline uh, uh, before in semantic text memory in SK, or if you're importing a document in Chat Copilot. Um, the only thing it does is uh, it extracts the text from the document, like PDF or images, and then it chunked the text and, and then generate embedding and save embeddings. But right now with this pipeline, you can define your own steps. Uh, for example, if you want to generate um, additional information, like if you want synthetic data um, from the document, say you provide a document and then you want to generate, you want to ask the LOM, what are the most likely questions people will ask that this piece of document will provide best answer for? Then you can you can kind of insert this step at, into the pipeline, as as you know for for the pipeline to generate those synthetic data, and yeah. So you, you you so there is a concept of pipeline, and then you can define your own steps. And then the nice thing about the pipeline is it doesn't have to be written in C sharp. So if you you you, you can define your pipeline step in any um, language. Um, and then the second one is the second concept I want to talk about is the and async a, async mode and serverless mode. So semantic memory in serverless mode is kind of you're running the pipeline in your application. So this is a blocking operation. But then you also have the option to run semantic memory as a service, a uh, distributed service. So you upload a document and then and then this service uh, is hosted somewhere and then it takes the document or, um, well, it, it, un underneath it's using a queue mechanism to process the data, to, to process the messages. So you upload a message, well, you upload a document is actually putting a message into the queue and then the pipeline would just grab the message and then start processing so that um, you, you don't have to wait for the pipeline to finish to continue your, uh, your uh, uh, other tasks. Um, yeah, and there are plenty of um, examples in this repository um, to go over, you know, how you could define your own pipeline or how you could define your own pipeline handler, aka step, and or how you could launch the service in serverless mode or async mode. But then right now, I will go to Copilot chat and then show you the current states of um, the integration. But from the UI, you cannot see anything different. But um, um, I will mostly show you the citation that's um, right now. So I will upload two documents, and then I will ask a question, and then it should give you the citation of where it get the information from. So um, currently the links the links don't work, but we're still working on um, making them valid links. Um, but then as you can see, the um, name of the sources 
come from semantic memory. So it's not coming from the prompt or anything, although it, uh, the prompt does include the name of the file, but then it's not from the prompt. It's a new um, object that's that's returned from the back end of Chat Copilot, but Chat Copilot got it from um, uh, semantic memory. And then right now the current state is, so whatever is included, uh, whatever is returned from semantic memory will be shown in here. So whether or not the bot actually used that uh, source, it will include the document in here. Um, so for example, if I say, um, if I ask what, what's the name of my pet, it will, it will probably fetch the information from my friend's pet dot txt, but then, but then it the the answer doesn't necessarily the, the answer won't contain my friend's pet's name, but it will still include source one. So we're still working on how to um, make it, I guess, more intelligent to figure out whether to 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 figure out how to include only include the sources that the bot actually uses in its response. So, um, yeah, so that's the current state of the semantic memory. Uh, well, a brief introduction of semantic memory and the current state of uh, the integration work into Chat Copilot. Um, we are hoping to um, get this work merged, um, well, optimistically uh, by the end of this week, but then uh, maybe by the end of this sprint. So, um, yep, uh, that's my uh, presentation. Giving back to oh, you, that's Alex. Really, that's really good, Tao. And then I think we have some questions in the chat uh, from the yeah. audience. But I guess first, before going to those, I think you know it's very early days for semantic memory. I've teased it in previous office hours, but it's you know a project that is rapidly being worked on, just like semantic kernel. And yeah, hopefully, right, you all can give us the feedback, uh, pass it along to Tao and the team to to make it better and make sure it, it solves your use cases. 